Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a review video of the Logitech keyboard case for the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. Basically, Logitech and Zag have partnered up to make this amazing accessory. It's a Bluetooth keyboard as well as a case for your Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1, and it's really, really an amazing accessory. Um, I've used it for a while now, and it's awesome. I haven't had any issues with it. It works just how I would want it to. Um, it's, it's really perfect. So basically what it comes with, it comes with the case and the keyboard itself as well as your micro USB to USB cable to charge it, of course. So on the outside, you have the keyboard itself. You've got the other side being a more metallic looking uh, protection case to it. As you can see up at the top, I hope you can see it's a Zag. So the popular Zag has made this case as well as Logitech making the keyboard. So you know it's really gonna be a good product, especially because it's Logitech, um, very trusted brand. On the right side, it has the input for the uh, micro USB cable, so. Just plug it on in. You can plug the other side into a PC or a charging port, whatever you want to do. But anyways, it, what's kind of funny about it is you really don't ever need to charge it. It lasts forever on the battery. I still haven't charged it since I got it. So I haven't even charged it once. Uh, my guess is I, I believe it, it could last me up to three weeks, honestly, on a full charge of battery. Um, it does have a status light right here. Um, that lets you that will blink once it's at 20% once it's at 20% you'll have two to four days left still So I mean it really lasts a long time depending on your usage of course But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's go over the the uh, Keyboard case itself Logitech keyboard case basically on this side Of course you have a full QWERTY keyboard that is not too small uh, a lot of people Probably are wondering oh, maybe it's a little too small. I haven't had any issues whatever with difficulty typing at all. I mean, it is con more condensed, of course, than a normal keyboard, but it's definitely not too small. So I've had no issues whatsoever with that. You have a lot of awesome shortcuts. You have a menu, search, home, uh, back shortcuts, obviously, of control, alt, shift, caps. I mean, it's really a full QWERTY keyboard. Obviously, you're not gonna have a number pad on the right side, but you also have other shortcuts up at the top. You got a cut, copy, paste, email, web, um, voice, contacts and you have uh, music controls as well volume controls and you have a lock button right there so overall you have a lot of great shortcuts that uh, come in handy so you really don't even potentially need to even touch the screen at all once you get this case it's it's really really amazing definitely something you're going to want to check out if you have a samsung galaxy tab 10.1 anyways on the other side as i said nice protective case it works very well i will be Showing that off very soon on up here, you got an uh, on-off switch as well as a connection button right there with a status light. So let's go ahead and I'm first gonna show you guys the case. Um, when I actually got my Galaxy Tab 10.1, first thing I realized was I can't really bring this anywhere unless I get a case because it's. I feel like it's gonna be so fragile if anything scratches the screen, touches the screen at all, it could potentially break. So I made sure uh, before I even brought it anywhere, I wanted to get a case for it. And then I thought to myself, I need a keyboard as well. So I was searching around looking for a case and a keyboard at uh, as well. So, but then I found the Logitech keyboard case, which is perfect for my needs. It's awesome. I mean, it really uh, provides protection as well as gives gives me the use of the keyboard. So let's go ahead and show this off. Um, I'm going to go ahead and slide my tab in there and show you guys how the case works. So in the corners, you have these rubberized, uh, basically padding strips right here. You also have foam kind of things on the outside to uh, add protection. So you really don't have to worry about scratching, anything like that, scratching on the metal of the case itself. So to slide it in, obviously you have um, different ports. You have your charging port indent right here. You have the top to go right here for all your buttons, etc. So, and your headphone jacks, you got openings for that. And you have openings on the sides for your, um, for your speakers. So let's go ahead and slide it on in. Obviously it goes that way. So you got your charging port right here. So I just slide it in like this and drop it down like that. It's not in yet. It actually does take a little work to get it secure in there, which is no big deal because you know it's secure if you, you really have to work for it. But anyways, to do so, all you have to do is press in on the corners and the other corner will probably pop up. So you have to basically just make sure all the corners are secure in there and they are now. 
and that's it. I mean, it's an amazing case now. I'm not gonna, it's not gonna drop. I can't, I can't even shake it out. As you can see, I'm not uh, holding it in or anything. I'm trying to shake it out, of course. Um, it's not coming out. So it's very secure in there. It's it's not something you need to worry about with it falling out. Um, it's very stylish. It, go, it goes very well with the colors of your tablet. I mean, I slide it in my backpack when I, when I go off to school and I just leave it in there. It's even with books, some pretty expensive books, but it's with some books, some heavy books, and I've had no issues whatsoever with it. I've dropped it a couple times. Um, there, were, there were no markings on it. I think it landed on the bottom here, but it there's no markings on the case and it protected it very well. I didn't pop out. I mean, I've had no issues whatsoever with it. So case wise, it really, really protects it, of course. Now to get it out, it's very easily easy. You can actually stand it up right here and just pull it apart. What I sometimes do is I'll, uh, I'll go like this and slide it up because when I do that, I can just slide it into the, the stand itself. So now, um, of course, I went over the the, uh, the case. Let's go ahead and go over the stand as well as the keyboard itself. All right, so here we go. This is, it's sitting in its uh, stand itself. Um, it's really at the ideal angle. No matter wh how you're sitting, it's really at a perfect angle. I mean, you're sitting down, It's you have no issues viewing it at, at all. Um, it's really at a perfect angle. Um, of course, you have your buttons right here. To get it set up, it's so simple. You go to your Bluetooth settings on your tablet, and then all you have to do is hit uh, the connect, turn it on, hit the connection button, hit scan for devices, it'll find the keyboard, you select it, and then on the keyboard itself, you just type in four numbers, press enter, and it connects. It's so simple, I've had no issues. I've actually had to reconnect it a bunch of times because I did some data uh, factory resets on my tablet, and I've had to reset it multiple times and connect it, and I've had no issues whatsoever. It takes 10 seconds to connect it. But anyways, let's go ahead and connect it. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on, so I'm just gonna flip the switch on. I don't have to press the connection button at all unless I'm trying to connect it. So I went ahead and turned it on, and it pops up to change input method, to use Bluetooth keyboard, change input method to Samsung QWERTY. So I'm gonna hit OK. I mean, it, it recommends you do that, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that. You go to language and input current input method and it'll change it automatically to Samsung keypad. But as you can see, I turned it on and it connected right away since it's already connected. So you don't have to worry about reconnecting it all the time. It remembers it and it connects it. As you can see, I hit the back arrow a bunch of times. So let's go ahead and review it. All right, so let's go ahead and test it out. I went ahead and downloaded a notepad application. So let's go ahead and go to that, hit a new note. And there we go. So it opens on up basically, yeah, I mean, it's, it's really, it's perfect. So if I wanna type, Hey there, how is it going? I am doing very well, thank you. Of course, I made a couple mistakes, but it it works just like a normal PC uh, PC keyboard. So as you can see here, how's it going? I'm doing very well, thank you. Um, it, I've had no issues whatsoever with, with the keyboard itself at all. It responds quickly and fast. Let's go ahead and zoom in and you can see uh, me typing again. So let's say, this keyboard is amazing. I really, really like it. There you have it. So, I mean, it it's perfect for responding to emails, whether you're IM chatting, anything like that, what, anything that you type on it, it, it makes everything so much easier, especially because it's so portable too, considering it being a case, it's a portable keyboard. It connects very easily with the Bluetooth and it works very well. And these shortcuts down at the bottom work amazing as well, whether I wanted to Go back, search for something, press the menu button. So if I wanna press the menu button, I can, and I can go at all these shortcuts up at the top. They work all very well. If I wanna lock the screen, I'll press the lock button. It'll lock the screen. And then to wake it on up, I'll press the space bar. And then it wakes on up, I can press the space bar again. It'll unlock it. So you don't even need to touch the screen to lock it to unlock it, all those good things, you really don't need to, so it's perfect. Um, I've had no issues with it, I highly recommend it. It does go for $99, which is a little steep, but it really protects it, it's amazing keyboard, it, the battery lasts forever, um, so I mean, it's, it's definitely worth it in my opinion, I'm very glad 
that I got one of these. It's it's really the perfect accessory for the Galaxy Tab 10.1. So definitely something you're going to want to check out if you have a Galaxy Tab 10.1. Um, I'll link to it in the description of the video. I'll post a link to the accessory itself in the description. But overall, that would be a full review of the Logitech keyboard case for the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment in the video below. I'll be happy to hear from you guys. Be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. And thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.